Hi guys and welcome back to Mod Studio. In this episode, we'll be creating RV for vertical assets like walls, columns, etc. This tutorial is aimed for the intermediate to advanced users, so a basic knowledge of speed tree is required for this tutorial. So without any further ado guys, let's dive in. So once you're in speed tree, let's create a trunk. I went ahead and already created a trunk, but it's real easy if you don't know. It's just basically right clicking your scene. If you're not selected, right click in your scene and add geometry and add trunk. All right. Uh, so in this case, I went ahead and in the skin tab, I just took down the curve, the blue curve, something like that. And absolute radius, I just took down to 0 0.25. Okay. So, and in the spine tab, I went ahead and added the path and just gave it some weird lines there and a value of five or something that looks that looks good to you. Okay, so now let's add our mesh. I went ahead, created a wall material, and in the mesh tab, I uploaded my wall asset that I've created. Just various mega scans assets just bashed together, and that is the mesh five object like that. All right, so now we need to add that so that our stem can stick to the wall. Okay, so right click, right click there or in your viewboard. So let's add force geometry and mesh all right so first of all the mesh is to use so let's reset this let's go down to the scale and let's take this down to 0.03 something like that let's move it to the middle a bit forward like so as you can see the, the trunk is adhering to the wall so let's give it some more segments because it looks terrible let's give it some three let's give it ten something like that okay we'll be making three of these stems just uh, i found that three stems works better for a large wall structure like this you can use one but you need to increase the length of the secondary branches and stuff like that so let's select this okay let's just make sure the blue curve is maxed out and let's give it something about 3.5 something like that and increase the spine length. While we're here, let's select this and add a force generator and a direction. R on the keyboard, or E on the keyboard, and let's just rotate this upwards. So it's so we're forcing it upwards, something like that. Okay. So in the materials tab, I went ahead and created a blank wall material so we can actually see our mesh in the scene. In order to do that, just select your mesh, include model. And just locate here on the material your shader you've created something like that so now i can just better see our vine system that we're going to build so let's select this b on the keyboard and let's just move it forward like this all right so now let's run over back to the trunk spine and in the path let's increase this value so there's more kinks in it something like this go back to the skin tab and select this Double click there and let's just make the point very, very narrow and take this down a bit. So it's not that thick, something like this. All right. So now let's add our second set of branches. So add geometry, branches, beautification branches, something like this. So let's go over to the forces and let's add our mesh to it. Go to the blue curve max this out as well okay and let's increase this value also let's add the direction and increase this to one so we're forcing it upwards in the spine let's give it an absolute value so we can see them something like this all right now let's go over to the generation tab and let's choose follow taxi alternating and let's take down the internode length to 0 0.2 uh that may be too much this is to your liking so let's take this to 0 0.65 something like that okay it to save some time let's just copy that Control c Control v paste that in there okay in this set let's take down the forces where the direction is let's take this down a bit so it's not that brutal 0.3 and the mesh to 0.35 or 
something like that. So in here as well, let's go to the spine. Let's select the path as well. Let's give it a funky curve and let's increase that as well. Let's go down to the other set and do the same there as well. Give it a path and let's increase that as well. So now we're getting something that looks like a vine system going onto the wall. So as you can see here, these are not sticking to the wall from the start. It, when this happens, there's this reason, the blue curve there, we just need to increase that to something like two. All right. So now if we select this and double on the keyboard, if we move this around, it adheres to the wall. So now all we need to do is we'll select these 0.25 spine. Let's select that and let's increase this some more. Now, yet again, let's select this right click add geometry. Let's select branches. Go. <clears throat> okay. Let's go down to the first set. Let's go down to the generation tab and let's increase this amount to something 0 0.35. See how that looks. Increase it some more. 0 0.25. Let's quickly delete these so we can see what's happening here. All right. Let's go down to the force. 3.5 or 8 point something something like that works okay let's select these again right click let's select twigs in the branches under twigs all right let's go down to spine let's make this an even value max this out something like this okay just a side note if you want this to animate like grow upwards like in the beginning of this video you need to have the grow tab enabled so as you can see when you grow the cyber will start growing up the wall but if you use batched leaves the leaves will do this weird kind of pop thing it won't curl out in this nice way so for you to have those nice curling leaves i suggest you use the um the leaf generator rather so if we just quickly disable the growth here and just realign these leaves be sky influenced okay let's take down the size just something that looks good something like this all right i'm just gonna quickly select my leaves apply these to there all right something like that and in the material tab let's add the other ones because i've created two more let's quickly add those leaves two and three something like this and let's increase the amount of generation to about three five that looks good okay orientation let's roll them down curl them like so fold them as well upwards okay let's give all these random values so on let's go to the skin tab as well and give this a random value as well some leaves are bigger some leaves are smaller as you see so once we've selected the twigs let's take this value down something like this and let's increase the tweak scattering so randomize this one yeah so we're getting somewhere so like I mentioned before if you select the growth tab now the leaves will do this cool little pop effect as you can see there which looks nice so let's take this down disable growth let's rework this a bit more and let's select these forces let's take this to one 
and let's select this set of branches add another force the planar force okay once this is selected let's select these and go down to the green curve add here something like this all right go into the spine again select these and let's increase the path amount some more like so okay let's head on over to the generation tab let's change this to verification decrease this amount spacing as well that All right select the twigs and to go into the generation tab let's zero out the boundary here to 0 0.2 so they start right from the beginning okay let's quickly select these the light taxi as you can see that's working quite well now so let's select the twigs go to spine let's go down to gravity and give it some gravity so they go downwards like so in the generation tab let's take this down to two okay so now let's increase the amount so we can scatter on the wall so let's hit down to the trunk let's select that and let's increase this to three okay so now it looks very wonky so let's quickly select one of these w on the keyboard let's move this to this side so this one is going up from here somewhere there okay and let's stick the other one move it to there let's move it outwards and let's select this one as well move it outwards so now let's rotate them so you get something that works for you let's select this one let's rotate this one as well Select the forces. Go back to generator, and let's decrease this amount to 0 0.3, like so. And let's move this somewhere there. And let's move this one to this side, and rotate it as well. So we get something that looks decent sometimes it's a bit trial and error like something like this as you can see so now we're getting ivy on a wall so bonus tip let's add some flowers to this as well so let's use the leaf generator as well let's select our twigs right click let's go down to geometry and select leaves like so Let's go down to generation tab, zero that out. Let's go down and select the extent parent and let's set this to any. Let's point them to the correct sky influence and let's take down the size to something like this. I went ahead again and I created some flowers and just a normal displacement map so we can use, we can actually make these little cones of them. All right, so let's select these and add them here as well. So now in the skin tab here, you will see there is a height deformation. So let's increase that. So now it's the flowers. Parent curve, let's do this. And there you go, guys. And as you can see, if we do the growth now, you will see everything has this little nice pop to them. The flowers popping and so on so guys that is it for this tutorial on how to create ivy for vertical walls um, so i hope you guys found this video informative i'll see you in the next one don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below and leave comments if you want to see anything else so stay safe and take care bye bye